Morning. Morning. Studio on the Mall. The risk is over. It's perfectly safe to go to Mankato. The outbreak of Legionnaire's disease has stopped. This according to the state epidemiologist. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bill Carls. And I'm Mike Walcher. And since cooling towers in Mankato appear to be the source of this disease outbreak, we had some questions about who's responsible for maintaining those towers right here in the Twin Cities. Well, Amy Marsalis is standing by live now. Where are you, Amy, and what have you found out? We're in downtown Minneapolis, and what I want to show you is the biggest cooling tower. Questions we have about this, though, with some of the other buildings where they don't have uh, a professional organization like this running it, uh, a large volume of it, and, and, and ask some of those questions for tonight at 5. All right, well, we'll look forward to that. It does sound like preventive maintenance is one of the big keys. Thank Sounds you. Sounds like it. Yeah. Bill? And police now believe that the death of a man beaten by three other people was caused when his head hit the pavement, not by the beating itself. This incident happened early Saturday morning, and hours later, Thomas Garrett died from his injuries. Rhonda Kinslow uh, has been following the progress of the case, joins us now. Rhonda, do we know why this actually happened? We don't know why, but we may have a lot of information later today coming from police.